Now to a remarkable act of kindness and divine coincidence that can only be described as a Godwink. Our friend Squire Rushnell is the best-selling author behind the Godwinks book series, and he's here with another incredible story. We love all these, Squire. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, you're going to love this. Okay. Chris Wright was driving to church. He was driving his family. He passed a lone woman walking along the highway carrying a gas can, and that image stuck in his mind. He drove his wife and kids to church and then drove back to help, but Chris could have never predicted the Godwinks that followed. Okay, what a setup. When I pulled to the side of the road, I asked a lady if she needed help. The look on her face went from distress to relief. On the way to a gas station, I learned that she was down on her luck. She had only $5 in her purse and was worried about feeding her child. I filled her gas can and drove the woman back to her car. As I started to leave, I felt a nudge to give her what I had in my wallet, $40. She hugged me and thanked me. We said our goodbyes and the sweet lady slipped into memory. Three years passed. My mother was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, but the hospital said she could go home if she had a nurse's aid, which they would provide. The woman who was supposed to come to the house had a scheduling issue, so a substitute arrived. Her name was Tundi Hector. Mom quickly became very fond of Tundi. One day, after exercising, wearing sweats and my hat on backwards, I stopped in to visit mom and met the nurse's aide who had been so good to her. Tundi told me about herself. She had been a nurse's aide off and on for 20 years, but had always dreamed of studying to be a nurse. During our pleasant conversation, she asked if I belonged to a church. I told her if we went to Cornerstone. Her face lit up and said, oh, I met a young man from that church. She told me how she had run out of gas and was walking by the highway. The man had dropped his family at church and circled back to help her out. He not only filled my gas can, but gave me $40, she said. My jaw dropped. I couldn't believe it. I saw myself three years earlier being tugged to help a stranger. I said, Tundi, that was me. She was flabbergasted and felt she had been divinely aligned to work with my mother. It was an amazing God wink. As mother's health deteriorated, Tundi and my mom formed an even stronger bond. Eventually, mom died on Tundi's birthday. My family and I thought about how we could show our appreciation to Tundi for her loving care to mom. We had this idea. What if we could raise $1,000 to help her start nursing school? So secretly, we started a You Caring Fund Me campaign, but we had no idea Tundi's story would touch so many hearts. When we gave Tundi a check oh, no. <laughs> for $8,000, she cried. The fund is now over $37,000. This whole story is one of the biggest Godwinks of my life, Tundi's too. Oh, isn't wow. that incredible? That's what happens. That's what happens. Tundi is finishing her bachelor's degree. She's applying for nursing school. And that is what happens when you step out and help somebody in need. More Godwinks are likely to happen.